It's DK and I'm back with another video. If you're driving right now, play me through your stereo. Now, in today's video, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell you guys something that a lot of people wanna know, and that is how to sign up for a carry company so you can get loads like this. Just like that, we are here at the pickup. Hopefully they load us up quick so we can run it up. It smells like cigars in this John. Is it a doorbell or something? A few moments later. Excuse me. I heard somebody walking, but I don't see where they at. Look, I knew it. I said it smelled like cigar in here. Look, somebody's in here smoking mouths. <laughs> smoking mouths. It was there smoking Middletons, baby. We are now at the front door to see if they can help us out in the front because ain't nobody in the back. Dang, ain't nobody up here either. Sheesh. Oh, grand doorbell. Good morning, how you doing, sir? I have a load to pick up to go to Woodstock. I'm parked in the back, but it, there was no one back there. Yeah, that's fine. So you're picking up for what? To go to Woodstock. All right, uh, so I see what's going on. I'm gonna make it happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you, you wanna go out and back? Back to the... You can just walk this way if you want. Okay, yeah. yeah come on. Come back this way. Thank you. It's I, nice I, in I here. I saw you walk in, and I'm like, ah. And then I got around, <laughs> and I saw the, the car. <laughs> Are you? GoPro in this thing? Oh yeah, I have, I have a YouTube channel. Cool. So I do I do like different deliveries and that stuff. So I thought I was doing DoorDash and I just worked my way up to the van. Makes it fun, cool. Hey, yeah, you cool. got to make it fun. Well, and we'll be on there because we're... Yeah, if you want to pull around back... Uh, he already is. I'm already oh, back. Yeah. He did the old okay. walk around to the front. Okay, so I'm going with him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Take care of it. Thank you guys, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no okay. problem. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I came back here and no, no one was back here. I was a little lost. That's it. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, sir. How you doing? I'm living a dream. I woke up this morning. Can you try to go a little bit farther in if you can? Like between the wheel wells if possible. Perfect. And just like that, it's game time. It's time for us to get on the grind. Let's go. Are you, you're not the one, did you just load me? Oh, I need the paperwork. Oh, I don't have any paperwork for it. No? No, because Hoist, the, the company that contracted you, they're the one that should have the paperwork. Okay, so just go there and they have it there. Yeah, they should have it there. Yep. Okay, yep. all right. Yep. Thank you. I, lo I love. I'm loving this. I'm <laughs> loving it. I'm loving your car, dude. Too. I'm loving yeah. it. This is the only ones I can afford. <laughs> you got a nice collection. Yeah. It's okay, doggy. All right, thank you. So you all have right. a good one. And we are here at the drop off location. We gonna keep on skating and being great. Oh, it's unlocked. Ring this doorbell. I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to go because it's like one, two, three, four garage doors here. So I think it's the main entrance right here. A few moments later. Hi. Good morning. Um, I have a load to drop out to you guys from Schomburg. A pallet. A pallet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, also, they said that you guys are supposed to give me some paperwork because they didn't they didn't have any paperwork to give me there. Uh, yeah, I need a BOL, yes. How you doing? I'm living the dream. I woke up this morning.
You know how many people make that harder than it has to be? You should chill. You're going, yeah. you're going into a yeah. rabbit yeah. hole right now. <laughs> hey, yo. No. Yo. No. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> I can't the breathe. Extra, I don't care nothing. Yo, you, yo. The extra, you put an extra yo. D on it as well. <laughs> No, but I have a good guess. <laughs> Probably eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 people. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. So for that load, we just completed, which was very sweet. It was super easy. Huge shout out to everybody that was at the uh, the first warehouse. They was pretty cool people. And hey, y'all saw his his, uh, his Hot Wheels car collection. That joint was crazy. I can only imagine what his garage looked like. Now, for that load, we did 44 deadhead miles 40 miles loaded, so 84 miles all together for 165. It's a great time to be alive. We pick up the prize and then we drive. Now, how do you sign up for a carrier company? This is something that, how do I get these loads? How to do this, how to do that? I'm gonna tell you guys how to sign up for a carrier company. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go on Indeed, I-N-D-E-E-D. -E -E and when you go on Indeed, you're gonna type in your area and then you're gonna type in cargo van independent contractor you can do cargo van independent contractor or you can do cargo van owner operator those are the two that i use so you're going to have a whole list of different carry companies you're going to see them all down there you need to make sure that you read what you are clicking on if it says cdl then it's that most likely that means that it's a semi sometimes you're going to see something to say cdl sometimes you're going to see something that say uh box truck Sometimes you're gonna see a lot of different things. So you need to make sure you are reading while you're on Indeed. Now, you're finally gonna find one, you're gonna click it, and then it's gonna pretty much let you sign up. Now, it's not, it's not, it's not that simple, let me say this. So, what's gonna happen is, you're gonna fill out all the information, probably your name, your email address, your phone number, and stuff like that. So it's pretty much like you have an Indeed profile. You're gonna fill out all the information, and sometimes you can add a resume or you can not add a resume. It's really up to you. Then you're gonna hit Submit Application. Now, once you've submitted your application, it may take a couple of days, and then you usually get an email. So the company's gonna email you like, we saw your application, here's everything you need to do. Now, it's a lot of stuff that's usually on this list. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's not super sweet, it's a lot of paperwork, and a lot of stuff you have to read, and a lot of stuff you have to fill out. For this particular company I'm going to use for this example, they have 26 pages of information. So you have to send them information. Also, they have a 26 page, uh, it's called an agreement. So it's going to have a whole bunch of terms and all that stuff. So it, make sure you read all of the terms. It's going to tell you how much you can pay. It's going to tell you a lot of different things. So exhibit one, we're going to put it right on the screen. The contractor's checklist. You have to fill out the application and agreement. You also have to fill out your W-9 as well as your certificate of insurance, also known as COI. This is very important. For the most part, every company you're gonna use is gonna want you to have commercial insurance, just so you know. From what I'm seeing, it's usually like $1 million, $100,000, and then $1,000 deductible. So, keep that in mind before you sign up for the carry company, I'm just letting you guys know. Now, they also want documents from owner. They want your driver's license, they also want your driving record. I do recommend this. If you're gonna be signed up for different carrier companies, you might just wanna go ahead and purchase your MVR and use that same one to every company you sign up with. Cause you don't wanna keep on paying $10 and $10 and $10. So just go ahead, get, buy your own MVR and send that paperwork in to them so it can make it nice and easy for you. They also want your social security card or your EIN number and your article of organization. So. Some companies want you to have an EIN number and some don't mind. For this particular one, they don't mind. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, next, you're gonna need a voided check or a direct deposit form. So you're gonna fill out the stuff. You gotta make sure you're getting paid. You gotta make sure that you're getting paid so you can pull up a new Escalade. You need to make sure all of the numbers is right, make sure everything is right when you put the information in so you can make sure they give you them dividends. Now, they're gonna want your vehicle information your registration, and then pretty much every single carrier company I've ever ran into, they want pictures of your vehicle. They want the front picture, the back picture, the cargo space, like how much space you have in the back. And this one also wants you to put a tape measure. They, they, want, a, they want a picture of you tape measuring the width and the length of the van. Because sometimes people may put that they can fit this stuff in there, but they really can't. So they want you to tape measure and send a picture in just like exhibit A, well, exhibit whatever I'm on. Now, you wanna make sure you do that. Also, make sure that you put in your payload. A lot of a lot of places want to know 
how much weight you can carry and make sure you don't overdo it. I know that it say 3,700 pounds on this Sprinter van right here, but don't we don't go past 3,000. We're not trying to put all of that uh, that all of that weight on the transmission or the drivetrain and break something. So we just go with 3,000 just to be safe. I, I think that also I got that from uh, Everything Apex. He does 3,000 pounds too. And then they want a picture of the manufacturer label sticker. So that's the sticker on us in, in the inside of the door. That's gonna tell them all the information they need to know. So. That's pretty much what you're gonna do for the contractor's checklist. I told you guys about the insurance, you need to make sure you have the insurance, and I told you guys about the width and the length of the van and all that stuff. So the next thing is additional certification and equipment. If you have any of these things listed on this list right here, make sure you check those out because this can help you get some more money. So you make sure that you let them know what you got. Now, another very important thing I wanna let you guys know that a lot of these companies, well, some of these companies allow you to sign up as a business. So you sign up as a business, if you have your LLC, whatever you have, you can sign up as a business and you can also add additional drivers. So you can have, you could go under the carrier company and you could be a carrier also. So you go go to them, you're gonna put your stuff, everything in, then you're gonna get some drivers under you and then you're gonna say, go over here, do this, do this. So it's gonna be like, you're gonna pretty much dispatch the people that's, that's under you, but you're just going through the carrier company. So there's a million ways you can go out there and get this money with using carrier companies or becoming a carrier company. So this particular company, they text and call. Me, me personally, I prefer text. Text me, I don't want you calling me 3000 because you're your Nigerian times. Text me the info and I'm gonna text you and let you know the price. But some people, they actually, they actually text you everything. They text you the low information, they text you where, it going, where it's coming from and going to, what time to pick up, what time to drop off, uh, how much weight it is, how many miles it is all together. So they let you know everything and then you just tell them a price and then if they get it, they're gonna call you and let you know, go ahead and go over here and get this and then you do the load. And if you don't, they're not, usually when you don't get the load, they don't call you. They're not, they're, they're not gonna reach back out to you because they got a lot of stuff, other stuff they got going on. So usually I would say a rule of thumb between 15 to 20 minutes, if you don't hear nothing back from them, then most likely, then you are, then you, you didn't get the load. That's usually what happens. So if you guys are interested in getting loads like the one you saw in the video, make sure you go to Indeed, sign up, go ahead and do your research and find out which carrier company is gonna work best for you. So you can get them once and twos. That's money, just in case you was wondering. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you are not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And if you are a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them fees up. Hey, before, before, before we go, say, let me say this. Shout out to everybody that's been tuning into the channel. We are on the road to 75,000 subscribers. We may hit 75,000 before this video drops. We don't know. 75,000 subscribers. The next goal is 100,000. We need 100,000. It was before my birthday. My birthday passed already. So that ain't happened. But I'm going to say I want to get 100,000 subscribers before May 1st, before May Day. So can that happen? Can it happen? 100,000 subscribers before May 1st. We're gonna put them in ours. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you lock in tomorrow, cause going back down, cause we ain't playing around. Cause all 2024, all we doing is put up to, uh, let's go, get it pop like Crisco. I'll see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it, it's DDK, and I'm on my way.